welcome back to the channel guys if you caught the last video i told you we've got some modifications coming and uh was going to do them yesterday however it rained and i couldn't do it i couldn't get the data log so uh yes we got Philip. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was i was looking in the background to see if you see old girl or not yeah, that's right hold on just just yeah there we go all right all right all right all right so all right but uh where was i at where was i at where, where was i at phyllis did you uh, about the mods oh yeah to... what we have is some parts for this so yes cover that up don't want nobody sending me or coming and visiting me at my house <laughs> you will get attacked by dogs yeah no, i don't have a not know where my knife's at so i'm using my pig so it'll work all right open that up philip See, let Philip let Philip open up some stuff. Philroy edition. Philroy edition. All right, oh. so I was gonna throw them around, but you was gonna do some stuff like that. Yeah, you? I would, man. All right, let's do this. Better so what we got here is we've got the JLT 123 millimeter cold air kit. Jesus, look at that. You can just shove a. Hole. What is with you and sticking your hands and stuff? Dude, you can fit a small child in that thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's the point <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. all right so we got the air filter we've got the coupler so what else did you get oh yeah Ooh. what oh yes that's the main thing that's the jewel we've got a vmp 60 set twin 67 millimeter throttle body man look at that thing Ooh, oh boy look at that shiny boy shiny okay ken we're not even gonna put this on the car no we're just gonna put it on the counter count he's uh, paperweight that is beautiful so we're going to take um this right here i believe that bad i could leave it on here especially with this supercharger right now but uh as you know we're going to be putting a trinity blower on and we're going to be going to a bigger blower after that so to maximize everything we're going ahead and take the stock uh stuff off the stock 60 millimeter throttle body off replace it with a 67 uh millimeter throttle body and get the tune in and hopefully get the tune dialed in um today so i can be at the track tomorrow however if we don't get the tune dialed in like i said in the last video i'm gonna throw this stuff back on throw the, the tune that's in it back on where i can run it tomorrow night at the drag strip because it's been how long philip since i've been at the drag strip three weeks yeah and this week, last week we didn't go it's and been almost that, it's been almost a month since i've had this car. there it's been about three weeks. Yeah. It's been over a month for me racing. Well, so, oh, guys. No, 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 no. Oh, he doesn't have it all back together yet. He's still got to put his uh, chin spoiler on, and he's got to clean it up. What was you saying no for? I was going to show surprise him in my video, but screw it. It's back, baby. <laughs> so, yeah, it's back, and he will be at the drag strip tomorrow night in this. It's about to get abused because she's been begging for it. She, it's been down too long, hasn't it? Yeah. So guys, if you didn't know, if you haven't caught his video, he actually uh, got into a little accident. He was driving late at night when he shouldn't have been driving too late at night and fell asleep and had a little accident and had to get all this replaced. Yeah. So they replaced anything up under there? Yeah, they, they, uh, they put a new AC condenser and that radio support. Man, they never clean these things up after they get all that stuff in them. No, then I gotta fix that. They just kind of threw that up in there. So, Philip, you, you took the GT350 intake manifold off. And the, and the Guys, he was planning on selling this car, and then he then he changed his mind. So, you got you got that on there, right? Yeah, but we're not... We're, we're, not, not, we're not going back with the GT350. No, no, no. No, no, no. We're going to stick something on there that has a pulley right about here. No, no, yes, no. Yes, yes. It's going to have... You know me, I, I love twins, all right? So, it's going to have some twins sitting right there, and then it's going to have... A, intake kind of sitting way up okay here. okay 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 i'll buy that i'll buy that as long as you go turbo oh, well. i'm down i'm I mean, down i'm probably gonna get the manifold first and get the injectors so what manifold are you gonna get a ported boss by 1320 junkie ported boss okay ported boss, yeah. ported boss 302 because you know me i love why not the cobra jet that's a good question kind of the boss 302 manifold loves boost yeah so, because yeah. you know I was just it's, messing it's with more, you. I always got to ask that question. Price range, you know. Well, I'm, you know, if you boy, right? if you was going NA all out NA, I would say Cobra Jet. Oh yeah. But when you're going twins, Boss 302 will work just fine. Oh yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And I can keep my stock throttle body. I can put my big penis back on there. So guys, and just run it. You need to go subscribe to his channel. I'll put a link down in the description. And yeah. 50 Philroy, go check him out. Philroy. He does some uh, adventurous stuff on his channels. 
He, he, right. If you like watching his shenanigans on my channel, you need to go watch his stuff on his channel. Tomorrow night, we'll have this there. We we'll have we this there. We're going to race the wife's car. We're going to race the wife's car against this car. It's stopped now. Because it, I beat Ken, so I demodded it real quick, so he couldn't beat me again. <laughs> or get his rematch. I spun. But anyway, spinning ain't winning, right? <laughs> Your face is like, I hate you. <laughs> it is what it is, brother. But anyway, we'll have this out there. We're going to race it in the wife's car. You're going to have to put this thing on E85, right? Of course. It's got to be on E85. Of course. We got to I mean, have, we got to, we got to be all out. Rain. I mean, if I bought the E85 tune, I'm going to stick the E85 tune in it. Wait, I don't have the dedicated tune anymore. Because that dedicated tune was for just, the ball, for the, uh, three but you got metal. the flex, right? Yeah. So you can still run an E85. Uh, yeah, I can still run it, but I like the dedicated stuff. <laughs> all right. All right, guys. So let's get busy installing this stuff. Compare the two in size, real quick. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yeah. Oh, we, we, I'm not one laying it down to begin with. Bill. Come on, now. I ain't you. Guys, this is the... Th look at look at the difference there. 60 millimeter, 67 millimeter. <clears throat> you and the guys tell you not to worry about. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> Very true. I mean, this is... Dude, that's ridiculous. Look at that. Huge. Big improvement, guys. Big improvement. Now, normally, you would want to use the ported, the elbow that VMP sells with this, which is a bigger version of what's on there. It would better um, allow better flow for this throttle body. However, since we're going Trinity very soon, as soon as Freddie gets his blower swapped out, um, we're not going to... We're not going to double spin. I talked about that in my last video. We're not going to double spin. So me buying the elbow would kind of be double spinning. And uh, so I elected not to get the elbow. Normally you would want to get the uh, VMP elbow to go with this. Mm -hmm. I would. Uh, but however, since hopefully in a couple weeks, hopefully, you know, a couple weeks maybe, mm -hmm. Freddie will get that swept out and I'll get that blower and then I'll put that blower on here. And so we'll be using that blower. So I don't mm -hmm. want to buy something I'm not going to be able to use. Everything that I, all the money that I spend from here on out is going to be toward the end goal of the car. So no double spending. So right let's get this thing installed. everything out hold on oh put it back up there That's... put it back up there Ken it's huge look <laughs> Ken got new sleeves <laughs> that's right. awesome all right so we gotta swap out the mass airflow with All right, guys, you will have to reuse your grommet because I pulled the sleeve out. It makes it a lot easier than installing this. And That's cool. Just put the sleeve back in. That's cool. All right, now. We use the bolts. All right, so as you've seen, it's a really simple install. Will not take you long to do it. 
Uh, but right now, we're going to get the, I got to get the uh, tune that Daryl emailed me, and I've got to get it put in the end gauge and get it fired up and get him a log sent. So that's what we're going to do now. All right, guys, so we're going to load in the tune that Daryl sent me, and there it is, GT500 JLT123 with the uh, twin 67. Uh, so that's what we're going to do now. This is the tune he sent me, so we're going to load it in. And uh, basically, you're just going to use one of these plugs. You're going to plug it right into the end gauge. Oh, that's cool. That's what the little port's for. Yeah. Plug. plug it right in. Oh, that's way better than a CTS, I got. Is that right? SCT? SCT. SCT, yeah. I get everything backwards, man. <laughs> like, ARP. It's actually APR. See, I get them backwards. It's ARP. It's ARP. See? I get them backwards, man. I don't know why, but like the simple things I get backwards. Your key on. We're going to go to diagnostics. Diagnostics. We go into USB. Okay. Now that we're in the USB, we're going to go here. We're going to go to, this is the Mac, so it's, uh, end gauges right there. So you see we got custom files, stock files, all this stuff right here. We're just going to open up custom files. And all we're going to do is we're going to take this thing and we're going to stick it right there. Oh, that's cool. Yep. I'm going to give me an end gauge. That's all you do. It's mine. You got to open up another one. Then you got to move this one here. Then you got to wait, download it. Then you got to. You just can't do it like that. That's so freaking cold, man. All right. And when it's done, it'll look like that. You can just move it right up there. So now I have the two tunes. I've got the the his tune right there, and that's the tune I'm running on right now. Now that we've got that, so now we're just going to go and we're going to uh, we're going to go to the end gauge and we're going to eject it. Once it's ejected, it's not there. You can unplug it from up here. And then we will load the tune into the car. Now we're going to go ahead and load in Daryl's new tune. So we're going to go over here and find the... That's not it. That's it right there. And then we're going to... Hold on. Did I hit the X or the... Okay. There we go. Approximately three minutes. Of course, y'all don't have to wait three minutes. And like that, it's done. Kim messed me up, so it probably ain't gonna work out too good. <laughs> I'm the one editing. Start off. All right. Wait, ten seconds. Yeah, it's ten seconds. So we're gonna fire it up. Hold on, hold on. All right, go ahead, baby. He ain't firing it up. So right now we're getting a log, we're fixing a log, we're going to do an idle, idle, then a few revs and hold so Daryl can see exactly what's going on, make sure everything looks good. Uh, as of right now, the short term fuel trim is looking good. You usually don't want to see over 10% either way. Positive 10% means it's running lean and it's adding fuel. Negative 10% means it's running uh, rich and it's taking away fuel. Right now everything looks good. Long term is looking good. Now what long term is, after it runs a certain way on short term for a while, it stores it up in the long term and then short term resets. So basically, uh, you most people like to see both but short term is what i like to see and the fact that long term is setting really low and then short term is running low it is you know i'm liking it he might adjust some stuff but uh we're gonna log it and let him make that decision damn i should have recorded all that did you not i did on my phone but not on the gopro oh you didn't now y'all guys if, if we did the video work i'm gonna send it to ken 
This thing was about to take flight. I kid you not. <laughs> it, 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 it was about to come. Dude. All right, so guys, what we're going to do now is we're hooking back up to the... Uh, we're hooking back up to this. I just sent a did a dialogue, and basically what Daryl wanted, he wanted idle for five seconds, 1,000 RPM, 1,500 RPM, 2,000 RPM, 2,500, all the way up, to, so he could watch everything and make sure everything looks good. So that's what we're about to send him, and then he will tell me what he wants me to do next. He might send a revision, uh, but... Yeah, it's a little unnerving setting the revving your car up like in increments of five seconds. You're like watching your temperature rise because we're in a shop. We don't have airflow. I know. I thought it was gonna backfire. <laughs> I, I I was waiting for that. Boom! I was like, woo! No, we but don't have didn't. a two-step. We don't have a two-step on. Not yet. So we we'll go <laughs> same thing before. We're gonna go to engage, accept. Right now we're gonna go to logs. And it should be the last log I got. So we're just gonna take it. We're gonna move it up here. And it's going to copy to this, and then we're going to send it in Messenger, which I cannot show you. Oh, you did through Messenger? Yeah, we do it through Messenger. Oh, that's it's, cool. it's, it's, it's fast. Instead of emailing it. Yeah, we do it through oh. Messenger. Facebook Messenger. And yeah, we don't want, want y'all to get any Ken's uh, names and whatnot. <laughs> a, lot of people, a lot of my subscribers, I mean, if you send me, if you know my real name and you, you catch me and you send me a... Uh, Instagram. Friends request. Usually, yeah. I res usually I I said. He can't. Ken's not like that. You know, Ken actually wants. Ken likes talking to his subscribers. I do. And if you follow him on Instagram, you get his name too. So, basically, and that's it. Mm -hmm. So basically, we're sending the file. Oh, wait, mm -hmm. can't do that. This file is sent. So now we will wait for Daryl. To... Oh, look, he just not looked at it. Yeah, he just looked at it he and. Was... Uh, He's Boy, going. he on a spot tonight, ain't oh, he's he? On his, Daryl's on his game. Let me tell you, Daryl is on his game. But, uh... So now, can we go get street tacos? We will in a minute. All right, so it's been, what, five, five minutes. ten minutes? Oh, okay, look at that. Yep. Yeah, been, what, five, ten minutes? Yeah, been about five, ten minutes. And he's already got me a uh, new tune. He said we were very close, so he just tweaked it just a little. Uh, so we were gonna, we've got a revision. We're going to download the revision real quick. And then we're going to throw it in. So we're going to go ahead and flash the new tune in. It's Sweet three now. minutes, but y'all ain't got to wait. Ken is done, ladies and gentlemen. Now we got a log again. Log again? Yeah, we got a log. He's got to, he's got to make sure that everything's good. Oh, so you're going to send him, send him, uh, New tunes in, so now we're logging. Except this time I put a big fan in front of the car so we can keep it. It didn't get too hot. It just it got up there a little bit. Not horrible. Nothing dangerous. Uh, guys, I'm also thinking about putting the uh, 170 thermostat in. I would. Let me know what you guys think about that. The chair. My stool go. So that revision did it. Daryl gave me the thumbs up, says you're good to go. So we've got all the uh, adjustments dialed in to the tune. Uh, so we are good to go. So we were going to take it down the road. Philip wants to ride in the car. Philip wants to hear that wine. He wants to hear the wine. I want a big boy pull. He wants a big boy pull. He wants a wine. We got the clutch broke in, so we're going to do a good pull in this car. Oh, that is right, ain't it? Yeah, it's broke in. It's, oh. it's almost 70 miles over break in. Yeah, it's been broke in for about for a few days we now. Never did big boy pool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, guys, we're fixing to run this down the road, and uh, I have not contacted uh, Lethal Performance with the next upgrades to see if they're when they're shipping. I imagine they're they're uh, built to order is what I'm I'm thinking. So uh, I'm gonna give them a call tomorrow and find on out. Backstop. They're probably on backstop. If they're on back order, I'm gonna be upset. 
Probably most likely. I, guys, I am the world's worst with waiting on parts once I buy them. I it checks every 30 minutes. Like, come on. <laughs> man. Not, not, not like that. Anyway, uh, we're going to take this thing down the road. And uh, I don't know. I, I'll, I'll give you my seat of the pants impression. Although, it's, it's hard to feel that horsepower difference. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's a bigger horsepower difference than what I'm thinking. But the main reason we put it on there is because... Uh, I told you guys that we were going to max out this blower as much as possible without spending too much going down the wrong path, if you know what I mean. The elbow would have been too much going down the wrong path, and I couldn't get a commitment from my, my, the buddy of mine that has the 11 g 500 I couldn't get a commitment from him if I bought the elbow that he would buy it off me. So um, we're just going to run it like this, and the next modification is going to open it up and let it breathe a little more before we get the Trinity on there. But I don't know. It depends. We may have the Trinity on here before that. I, you never know. You never know. We don't know. Maybe I'll find, I'll find out tomorrow when I call Lethal. So anyway, guys, well, we're going to take this thing down the road. Spin. Dude. Throttle response, guys. First thing I noticed, threw all the windows up. Turn the AC on low. Uh, first thing I noticed is the throttle response is a lot better than the stock. Of course, I pretty much thought that that was what I was going to tell the, the most out of this uh, setup would be the throttle response, and the throttle response is, is on point. We're going to get down in Mexico and do a little pull, though. Guys, we're going to roll into it. We're not going to stab it. So initial impressions, the car is a lot more responsive. Uh, it seems to... <laughs> <laughs> well, you ain't right. But it works. blind me with the car in front of me stopping. That don't work. Uh, the car is a lot more responsive. It feels a lot better. So tomorrow night we'll be at the drag strip and we'll see. Uh, hopefully the DA won't be horrible. By the way, we're going to send it anyway. We're going to have some fun tomorrow night. I got first time back with the clutch, the VMP heat exchanger, the throttle body, the code air, all of it. Um, guys, I'm loving it. The car is a lot more responsive now. I mean, it, it yes. more, a lot more. Uh, that's, the, that's the main thing that I picked up from it is the responsiveness. The seat of the pants feels great, but you gotta remember, I haven't been on the car a whole lot since I put the clutch in. So it's gonna feel really good to me. But I can tell instantly the, the response. It's instantly responsive. It, before, it would respond well, but you could tell, you know, but this, but this throttle body and code air, all that setup is a lot more responsive. So, uh, but guys, we're going to end the video here, and I'll let Philip take us out. Okay. And we made it just back in time for this beautiful sunset in Tennessee. Man, see, we went with the Mexico so quick, didn't we, Ken? Yeah. Oh, boy. Man, he's going back. Exactly. All right, everybody. This is where we're going to end the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe. Don't forget, <laughs> it's your boy, 5.0 Philroy. See you when I see you. Peace. Can I just throw this? No. <laughs> Philip, you cannot throw everything, man. <laughs> Some of this stuff, this is, this is good parts. You don't throw this good parts. Just because I don't want them on here doesn't mean we get to throw them and break them, Philip. <sighs> Damn it, Ken. There's no fun in that. Yeah, as Philip is hold making on, me on, film on, this, on, I do not want to film this. Hold on, hold on. Can you see me? I, hold, I cannot see you. My mama said I always be what I want to be. So I decided to be a freaking penguin, man. Woo! <laughs> I'm not putting that in the video. <laughs> You're so retarded. <laughs>